so Do you regret? Oh my god. This is supposed to be really spicy. What is this? I would risk my life for this. What's up, guys? Welcome back, Charles. Me, Austin. And I'm Lexi. And as you can see behind me, we're at the new Super Nintendo World. And we are going to be trying every single brand new food item on this menu. That way, you don't have to. We're going to go in there right now, give you guys a tour of what Super Nintendo World looks like. I've been waiting years for this. We're going to the pipe. Oh my god, the pipe. The pipe. I don't know how to describe it. Look at the coin. Look at the floating coin. How is it floating like that? <gasps> oh. Oh my god, you guys. I feel like I'm in a Mario level. I'm in a Mario level right now. Oh my god. Is this World 1? Is this <gasps> We made a reservation at the Toadstool Cafe, but our reservation isn't until 6 o'clock. The Koopas. Okay, okay. The Goombas. We got to go get our bands. We got to go get our power up bands. Come on. We're getting our power up bands right now. This is how we could use a lot of the activities around the park. Who do you want? You can pick first. I'll go with Mario because, you know, I'm your knight in shining armor. I'll save you from Bowser. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so bad. So there's four different mini games around the park right now, and every time we win the game, we get a key. Once you collect three keys, you get to go in that gray castle over there. I'm not gonna tell you guys what's gonna happen yet, but once one of them gets three keys, we'll head in there and we'll show you guys what happens. He also did say the games are not designed for you to win every single time, so you could lose, and we, we might not even see what's in the castle. Once you get the bands and you add them into your app, you get to make your own character and make your own player name. So of course, guys, you know I call myself the Sip King. What? I tried making your name Lexi Shapiro, and it's deemed inappropriate. Because you haven't officially proposed it, and they know that it's messed up for you to do that. Let's go! If you've ever played a Mario game, you know that they have the question blocks everywhere. I want to take it home. <laughs> so it's almost our turn to play the first mini game, and it looks like all we have to do is like hit a bunch of timers. For you at guys, like... we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. It's a reaction game. We each gotta try to hit all the timers as soon as they light up. Not... We're going to lose. We're gonna win. Positive we mindset. We just waited an hour to play this game, and we're gonna lose. I see one person to tap the power band to start. What did I tell you? I missed one. It was my fault. No, it's not your fault. Because I missed a few also. It's okay though. No, I, it was the one on my side. Like, I literally asked her. I missed one. And it was the one all the way. This one, it looks like a Goomba comes out of that thing. He's got to turn the wheel to try to knock him off. Is it good? Austin, relax. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep going faster, 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 faster. You're almost there. Faster. Thank you. Yay. So I went back and looked at the footage before. It turned out Lexi actually beat the first game. Replay it right now. She hits the one button that we missed three times and it didn't register. <laughs> I'm just weak? No, maybe. You're not weak. You hold me down. Bruh. Okay, so the next key is being defended by a Koopa Troopa. We had to hit the power block at the perfect time that it shoots up the pipe and hits the yeah. other power block above it. And then we win the prize. Just like that! You missed it. I'll still do it. 
You got it. One more mini game that we can play. I won one of the three games that we've played so far. And I won two of the three games, but you need three to enter Bowser Jr.'s castle, so only I can win. It has to be. I am the chosen one. Maybe you were the one that was chosen to take me from Bowser's castle. So this one looks like the hardest of the all. You have to flip all the exclamation points into question marks. When you hit one, it could flip the other one next to it. So we have to make sure Lexi wins this one so we can enter Bowser's castle. and the Mario strawberry cream soda. So I was told that the Mario one sells the most, but the woman said that she likes the peach one. <gasps> Luigi sells the least. Probably because it's green. Stop it. There's boba at the bottom of each one. Oh, look at Lexi like, with the mustache. Why is it sour? Stop! You're right, it was sour. What is this? It's cream, it's ice cream. It's ice cream? Yeah. I like Luigi better than Mario so far. It doesn't feel like a boba drink. Why does it look like applesauce? Our mics are almost dead. This is applesauce. On top of it? I thought that's what I tasted. This is peaches peach cream soda. I forgot I don't like peach flavor. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of any of them. These were $12 each. Oh. For the price point, I think each of them are worth $12. Personally, I don't think I would come here and buy any of these ever again. Hi! Sorry, Chidi. I just want to say hi, and I, I know you guys don't think you need to do Oh, no way! We're oh literally, like, literally filming right now. Do you want to video? Hi, wait, what's your name? Hi. My name is Ava. Can I get a picture? 100%? Please, absolutely. Thank you so much. Inclusion? Eh. Eh. Not bad. Not the worst, not the best. Could be better. It's me, Mario. <laughs> Presentation is there. Flavor and taste. It's basic. Nothing special to it. A four out of ten. Now back to the park. We're both starving. It's time to head to the Toad Soul Cafe and order one of everything on the menu. We met this lovely waiter. Hello. What is your favorite food item? So I actually really love the tiramisu we have here. That's how they bribe me to doing overtime. We got the Bowser cup. It's insane. It's literally a one pound meatball. It's like this big. It's a one pound meatball. A one pound meatball. It's massive. It's massive. First up, we're trying the Toadstool Cheesy Garlic Knots. Fire garlic knots. Those are fire, you guys. I would eat 27 of these. 10 out of 10. Next item on our list is the Piranha Plant Caprese Salad. This salad is literally shaped like a piranha plant. It looks immaculate and gorgeous. Out of everything that's in front of us, this is probably gonna be the only item I skip. How much would somebody have to pay you to bite, to bite this? If you gave me $1,000 to go shopping after this, I'll take the full bite of it. Wow, you had a golden opportunity to shove it in my mouth and you didn't take it. 
presentation on this one was a solid 11 out of 10. How is the actual taste? Um, okay, I'm going for the second bite because the first one wasn't that great. You, you still have to tell the people what's going through your head. I almost just threw up. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go in for a third bite. Le Lexi just almost threw up and then she just decided to go in for a third bite. What are these? That's mozzarella cheese. Okay, presentation 11 out of 10. Do you want to try the asparagus? Your pee pee is gonna smell. That's gonna suck for you later. Why would that suck for me? I don't know. What's this one called? It's mushroom tomato soup, I think. I'm gonna try this one first today. That just tasted like a bowl of marinara sauce. You're telling me that's not a bowl of marinara sauce? Peaches, 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 peaches. Next up, Luigi's chicken burger. That's so it's really cute. The burger comes with a little hat, and uh, you're coming home with me. So the pepper on this thing is huge. Bruh. Remember, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I give it a 7 out of 10. Up next, we got the Mario burger. It's a cheeseburger with bacon, mushrooms, lettuce, and tomato. I could do this. You have first. to make sure to get the bacon in it. Let me know what hints, what hints are you getting? Is this a little bit of lettuce? What's, what, 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 what's happening here? What? You look like you're in distress. Oh, okay. So This is the type of stuff that makes me not want to be a vegetarian anymore. This is like yassified Mario. Okay, so do you, did you like it? Like, what would you actually rate it out of 10? An eight, eight out of 10. The toppings of the mushroom I and bacon, I don't like. I want to go spicy meatball, let's go. This is Bowser's challenge. It's a one pound meatball with a little pastry on top of it. I'm actually really scared because Jared did tell us and the waitress that was helping us order this both spicy. told us this is supposed to be really spicy. So this is also my first time ever having a meatball. Mamma mia. Ready? I bet that's more spice. Hell nah. That was a big dip, Lexi. I can handle it. That's delectable. <laughs> That was really spicy. Oh my God, my tongue's burning. Give me another bite. Wow. That was definitely the best thing we tried today so far. Okay, so our amazing waiter friend, Jared, is going to hook us up with a menu item. You didn't hear that from me, Universal. You just said his name. It's Universal, if you fire this man over getting us a drink, I will personally come and- Beat you. Oh no, that's wrong. Spank you. No. no. Take you out to dinner and then show you a good time. Yeah, show you a good spanking. Time. Our lovely waiter Jared hooked us up with the superstar lemon squash boba tea lemonade thingy, <laughs> and we have Why our three desserts. Why do we all have boba? I don't know. Wait, but he gave us two straws. Oh. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Ah! He was fucking right. Wow. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I came into this thinking that a lot of the food was to be amusement park food, but no. So we have three desserts. We have the tiramisu. Even the little question mark cookies the on cookies here. cookies are insane. You know what tiramisu is, is, right? Nope. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be. I taste the coffee, but it's still a fire. Are you feeling okay? I give that a seven out of 10. I like how it sparkles. We're gonna unwrap the back of this a little bit. Is we're that confetti? Is that confetti cake? My expectations were completely broken. We are on the last food item. This is the finish line. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the design of this. What is this? I would risk my life for this. I'd give this a 10 out of 10 I would also. also. Give that a 10 out of 10. What would you say is your favorite? The cake? Oh, you're exhausted. Thank you to Jared at Universal for giving us the best experience possible at the Total Soul Cafe. We'll see you next week. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, and drop a comment down below. What food item do you want to try that we ate today? Until next time, that's a wrap. We're headed to our first ever Coachella. We got a little hair package from Red Bull. They wanted to send us a bunch of drinks that we could stay energized during the entire event. So thank hope, you, Red Bull. I really hope they have sugar free. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> Lexi? Yeah. Can you vlog? No. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. Okay. What's the point of Coachella? Um, drunk.
and we're heading over we to see. We didn't vlog like all of that. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. I know. Austin, uh, uh, I. Uh, okay. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I wanted to vlog, but Austin thought it would be better if we didn't because I am a little intoxicated, so it's just best. What? I, is that not good? I thought I was really good. Like, like, okay, like she's just a, like, like, like she's didn't. a little. I'm 24, on, by the way. She's so 24. I, she's a little bit under the influence. Day two of Coachella. Yesterday was an absolute nightmare. Let's see what happened.